Are you busy and don't have time to actually watch your stocks on a daily basis, but you still want exposure to the stock market? How can you trade? How can you invest? How can you be exposed in the stock market even if you are busy? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So check this video out. Hi everyone, this is Marvin Germo. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and smash that bell so you get updated every time I create new content about the stock market. My whole goal for this channel is to create a new set of investors, a new generation of Filipinos with the right conviction on investing in the markets because we are sitting in one of the greatest times to be alive. We are sitting in one of the greatest eras where wealth is so easy to create as compared to 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago. And I do hope this channel serves its purpose to help you, to equip you with the right tools for you to hit your goals of financial freedom. So enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys, so the context of this video is basically to educate you that there's such a stigma, there's such a misconception when it comes to the stock market that people think that you have to watch your stocks every day to make money. There's such a misconception that the only way for you to make money is for you to be able to watch it every minute, that you need to look at it every second, every minute so that you anticipate the lowest portion of the market, that you anticipate also where the highest portion of the market will be. Let me tell you guys, that's a big misconception. Let me tell you guys, that's wrong. You you can still invest in the market. You can be positioned in the market even if you're busy, even if you don't watch it on a daily basis. I've seen so many people who have made massive amounts of money by investing in the market even though they're busy. And guess what? Some of them are living in different time frames, time zones. Some of them are living in eight hour time differences like they're living in Europe. Some of them are living in the Middle East where it's four or five hours away in terms of time zone. Some of them are flight attendants, cabin crews where they cannot trade on a daily basis because they're living on a different time zone. Or sometimes when they want to trade, they don't have the time to do it because there's no internet access when you are on the air or in the air as well. And what if you're a sales agent? I've seen sales agents who, you have to remember this, if you are a sales practitioner and you're meeting people, you can't really trade well because either you're driving or you're talking to a lot of people. And I've seen people I've seen those types of people still do well in the market. So how is it done? And the context of this explanation or this video also is to explain the context of my book. A lot of you guys have been asking about the contents of my book and what differentiates one book from the other. So I'm going to share bits and pieces of, of this book, Stress-Free Investing. So the heart and the goal of this book, Stress-Free Investing, is basically this. It will teach you strategic areas on how you can pick stocks, on how you can allocate them properly even though you are not trading it. This book will show you certain buy signals and certain sell signals on how you can position sell without even using technical analysis. The whole goal of this is, think about this, imagine how the index is constructed, imagine how mutual funds are constructed. The goal of this is for you to create your own portfolio, the goal of this is for you to create your own narrative on how do you select stocks and how do you pick stocks. Basically, the goal of you buying a stock is dependent on what the objective of your portfolio will be. It's it's you being your own fund manager. It's you being your own trader that you get to design the, the same amount of earnings that you want based on the number of stocks that you're buying. So basically, one of the questions that this book will answer is this, and I don't know if you've ever encountered this, is that you have money, but you don't know how many stocks you're supposed to buy, and you're an investor. It, please remember this, the amount of stocks that you're supposed to buy is predicated and is highly dependent on, number one, the amount of money that you have. Please remember, the one, the, a person who has like 10 million pesos versus a person who has 1 million pesos versus a person who has 500, 100,000, 50,000 pesos, they may have the same skill in trading. They may have the same skill in knowing about fundamental analysis, but the main difference is they cannot buy the same stocks. They cannot buy the same number of stocks as well. And that's what I plan to share in this book. And that's the heart and the content of this book. How do you allocate it based on the amount of money that you have? You will have to differentiate the number of stocks that you are buying based on your capital as well. And not just that. For example, you decide, hmm, I will buy five stocks. My goal is to allocate within five stocks. The next question here is this. 
how do you allocate your money per portfolio, per stock that you're buying? Meaning, do I buy, do I put 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20% to each of the stocks that I have? Or do I put 25% to one and then 10% to, other, to, to the other and the others I distributed well? Please remember, the biggest question that a lot of people would normally ask me is this, how much do I put to each stock? Especially, here's the thing, you're watching 10 stocks, four of them have buy signals. How much do you put to each? And the, the saddest thing is that people would just carelessly put in stocks, meaning, bahala na, may tatama di dyan. I'll just put money to each. And that's not the way to go. There's a systematic way for you to be able to allocate. There's a systematic way for you to be able to set a number of stocks to put a certain number of positions per stock and ito pa for example you decide while you are while you are positioning no you say that hmm sige i will put 50,000 50,000 50,000 to three stocks each now the question is this please remember after two months a couple of things will happen number one a couple of those stocks or one or two of those stocks may go up then the other may go down and the thing about that is this after that period of time, which among those stocks are you supposed to sell? Which among those stocks are you supposed to keep still? And not just that, after a period of time, guess what? If you have employment or you have a business or you have other sources of income, of course, you still have money. Of course, you still have money that's coming your way. You still have money that you can position in the stock market. What does that, what does that mean? When fresh new funds come your way, what do you buy? Do you put in more money to the stock that has gone up? Do you put in more money to the stock that has gone down? Do you take profits on the stock that has gone up? Or you do you sell the one that's lagging and not doing uh, something? Or do you put money to both? Or if you decide to put in money to the one that's up, to the two stocks that are up, what percentage of the money, the fresh funds that you have, are you supposed to put? And that's the heart of this. You know why I keep writing books? Because I really believe that the contents of this are something that's timeless. The contents of this are something that will allow you to use the principles that are in it that uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 years from, from now, you can still use as well. This is something that's very, very useful for those who've read my first two books in stock, stock investing made easy and uh, winning strategies for investing because this works hand in hand. If you know how to use fundamental analysis already, this works hand in hand already. If you know how to uh, decipher and you know how to pick the stocks that you want as well, please remember technical analysis is all about timing. It's all about finding the best time to come in and out of the stock while fundamental analysis helps you pick which stocks are good which stocks are growing, which stocks are basically undervalued over a stretched period of time. This book will answer the question, how much do I put to each stock? How do I diversify my portfolio? How much do I put when a stock goes up? How much do I sell? Do I sell everything or do I just sell portions of the stock? Please remember, those are things that are very, very important because it's not just about timing, picking, selecting. It's also about proper man man management, the whole goal of, the, of why I create books like this is so that you have a context that if you notice it, the whole goal of winning the stock market is about removing all of the emotions as possible. The more emotions you remove, the more emotions you take away in your trades, the better investor you will be. The more emotions that are out, the more emotions that you get, you don't rely on your emotions anymore. Guess what? What will cause you to lose is your emotions tugging you to actually sell a stock that's not supposed to be sold. And I've said this in a lot of the videos that I made. Most of my mistakes are not because I failed to sell too quick, but most of my mistakes are I sell, I sold stocks that are winning and I sold them too early. And most of the stocks that, you, you, you know what's interesting about this is if you re don't rely on your emotions and you said, when do I rebalance my stock? Meaning, I will only visit my stocks at an X amount period of time. And that's when I start rebalancing. Meaning, if there's volatility along the way, meaning if stocks drop along the way, then you shouldn't be scared because the only time for you to pull the trigger again is number one, when you see the time that you're supposed to rebalance the time that you're supposed to tweak, get hit. And that's the only time you start to sell. And that's the only time you start to execute. And what's nice about that is it's you following your plan. It's you sticking to what your technique is in coming in and coming out. And that's what's going to cause you to win. Meaning, if you said, I will rebalance after six months, the stock drops massively in four months, you shouldn't be scared. You shouldn't do anything because as long as the fundamentals does not change, it's just merely price pushing it down. But the fundamentals of the company is there. What, what it does is it removes the emotion because you don't have to see it on a regular basis. So I've seen this. This is a way for you to become very, 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 very effective 
as an investor, not a trader. Ah. Please remember, the rules for trading and investing are totally different. The rules for trading and investing are not the same. That's why you have to set, you need to know what are you. You need to define, are you a trader or are you an, are you an investor? Because the rules of the game are different for both the rules of the game, the parameters, what you're looking at, the indicators that are you're looking at are all different. And I have a test also, by the way, in the book for you to know what kind of investor are you? Are you aggressive? Are you passive? Are you someone who's merely dependent on fundamentals? Are you someone who's merely dependent on price action? Because please remember this, it's not just about what kind of indicators you use. It's also part of your personality. Some of us are hardwired to be aggressive. Some of us are hardwired to be conservative. Some of us are hardwired to just look at what the business is because at the end of the day, the stock market is all about businesses. But there are some also who don't see it as businesses. They see it as stocks that move up. They see it as commodities that move up. They see it as stocks that I can sell at a higher price later on. And you have to understand that we're all different. That's why when you watch different videos, read different books, there will be different kinds of analysis because the analysis is predicated on who the person is. It doesn't mean one person is right, one person is wrong. It means that that analysis fits that type of person over a stretched period of time. And I encourage you, uh, this book is available in Shopee. The link is in the description. If you want to know more about this, I have the link in the description on how you can get it. If you're thinking about a gift that you can give this Christmas, I highly suggest this. If you're thinking about something that you can uh, use for yourself in order for you to be able to uh, learn more, grow more, this book is dedicated for all of you. I, I keep writing books because I want this to be something that will allow Filipinos to learn. I want this to be uh, a narrative for Filipinos that want to know more about investing, that it's time that we change uh, people's perception about the stock market. It's time that we change also our own perception that you can invest, you can use what you have, you can use the resources that you have to be able to reach your goals of financial freedom. And I really believe the stock market, if it's done right, the stock market, if it's studied right, can help you, can help you achieve your goals, whatever it may be, from business to investing to sending your kids to a school that you like, to traveling, to doing other things that you want. The stock market is one of the greatest ways for you to be able to grow wealth over the long term and it will allow you to live life at your own terms. So for those who sent questions about what books have I written, the context of each of them. This is my third book and I'll do more. I, this is some sort of a book review of all of the books that I've written, but I'll just keep doing more of this because I really know that this books also will, uh, will serve its purpose and help educate you so that you get to reach your goals also of financial freedom as well. So I guess that's it for now. If you have any questions, just post them below and I'll try to make as much videos as I can for you guys as well. So I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all.